Hello, this is Michael, and welcome to Medlock Method Chinese Unit Twenty Eight Point Three. 你好，我是邱老师。And what are we doing in Twenty Eight Point Three, 邱老师 ？Today we're being old. We're thinking back the good old days. Oh, them were the days, weren't they? <laughs> it might be the bad old days as well. Okay, let's move on. Listen, please. 你很勇敢。十岁的时候，自己一个人去美国，爸爸妈妈要我去的。你很勇敢。十岁的时候，自己一个人去美国，爸爸妈妈要我去的。Okay， 你很勇敢。Young is courage. Okay， 勇敢 is a brave， and 敢 itself means a dare. So you are. You have courage and you dare. 勇敢 so you're brave. 十岁的时候 when you were ten years old, 自己 you know 自己 self isn't it? Yeah, 自己一个人一个人 one person. So 自己一个人 it means you yourself alone. 去美国 go to America alone. Yeah, and B says, "Well, why wasn't we、really、brave here?" 爸爸妈妈要我去的。Mum and Dad wanted me to go. That's right. Okay, and we always have Baba first and then Mama. Listen and repeat, please. 你很勇敢。十岁的时候自己一个人去美国。爸爸妈妈要我去的。你很勇敢。十岁的时候，自己一个人去美国。爸爸妈妈要我去的。Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Listen, please. 很勇敢的，自己住在学校宿舍里，一个人都不认识。很勇敢的，自己住在学校宿舍里，一个人都不认识。Okay, 很勇敢的 briefly, 自己 alone, yeah, 自己 self. Okay, you self. But here you did not say alone here because in the 住在学校 you you stay in the school and you are not alone. You are with classmates and friends there. Okay, so here you did not say alone. 自己 only 自己 you self. 住在学校。宿舍里，宿舍 ，dormitory。宿舍 also means a it's a hall of residence as well.、Um, so it's not just a dormitory with you know a dozen other people in it. Yeah, it can be small individual rooms where students can live, but even workers as well. Yes, in China, a lot of companies that provide 宿舍啊、uh, to these ah、uh, 员工 okay their employees, and、uh, it could be a flat. And、yeah. sort of ten, twenty people living in the flat, or they could have an individual room as well. Of course, of course. Okay, 宿舍 Okay, 一个人都不认识 One person all not know. Yeah, it means not even one person. It it did not even know one person. It's ah、uh, comes from 一点都不 So 一点都不 is is ah、uh, not even one dot. 一点 And a dot, and 一个人都不 not even one person you know. 一个人都不认识 Listen and repeat, please. 很勇敢的自己住在学校宿舍里，一个人都不认识。很勇敢的自己住在学校宿舍里。一个人都不认识。Okay, now it's time to do exercise. Tell me, when I just arrived, I didn't know anyone. I didn't know anyone. You can put that not even one person did I know. Tell me, now I know lots of people. So how do you put it this way? 
and in Chinese you would say, Now people I know are many indeed. People I know would be 认识的人, 我认识的人. 现在认识的人可多了. Okay, let's mash those two together. Tell me, when I just arrived, I didn't know anybody. Now, I know many people. Tell me dare. Gan. Tell me, do you dare live alone? Ni gan bu gan yi ge ren zhu. Or you can say, ni gan yi ge ren zhu ma. Put ma in the end. Tell me, travel. Tell me, do you dare travel alone? You say travel, but in Chinese you say go traveling. Tell me, brave. Tell me, self. 自己. Tell me, he bravely went traveling by himself. Okay, by himself, in Chinese, a lot of time we say 自己一个人 to emphasize by himself alone. Right, more exercise to come. Tell me, want. Yao. Tell me, I want you to write Chinese characters properly. Properly would be hao hao de. Okay, and put it in front of a verb. Tell me, he wants me to make a trip to Taipei for him. Make a trip to Taipei would be 去一趟台北. Tell me, you don't want to stand up. Ni Buyao Chan Chilai When you're using Ni Buyao Yeah, it usually means don't do it and usually It's a talking down to people, isn't it? Yeah. Tell me you don't want to eat while talking. Ni Buyao Bian Chi Bian Shu Tell me you don't want to not learn Chinese. Ni Buyao Bu Xue Han Yu. Tell me, dormitory. Su Sha. Tell me, I don't want to live in a dormitory. Wa Buyao Chu Su Sha. Tell me, I don't want to eat rice, I want to eat noodles. Okay, let's go back to the dialogue. Lesson, please. 一点都不勇敢。刚开始的时候,每天晚上都哭。不敢跟老师说想家。一点都不勇敢。刚开始的时候，每天晚上都哭，不敢跟老师说想家。Okay, 
一点都不 remember. Not at all. 勇敢、uh, Not brave at all. Not brave at all. Okay. 刚开始的时候，刚 just 开始 ，it's beginning. So just beginning or just started? Yeah, 时候 when just started. Okay, 每天晚上都哭，哭 cry. So every evening I cried. Yeah, I like that character there. It actually looks like someone crying. Yeah, the drips here, isn't it? <laughs> And two eyes. And two eyes. Yes, 哭每天晚上都哭，不敢，不敢。We talk about 敢 earlier. 不敢 dare not. 跟老师说。Speak to the teacher. 嗯哼，想家。Ah, so I didn't tell the teachers that I was homesick. That's right. 想家 homesick, missing home. Okay, listen and repeat, please. 一点都不勇敢。刚开始的时候，每天晚上都哭，不敢跟老师说想家。一点都不勇敢。刚开始的时候，每天晚上都哭。不敢跟老师说想家。Okay, I do a little bit exercise now. Tell me, cry. 哭。Tell me, she loves crying. 她爱哭。It actually means she cries easily, doesn't it? Yeah, we use I here. And sometimes we use 喜欢 She likes crying. 她喜欢哭 You might hear the kind of English though. People, Chinese people, tell you, "Oh, I love crying. Sounds funny." Tell me, laugh. 笑 Tell me, I laugh easily. Using I as well. 我爱笑 Here's a new phrase for you. 哭笑不得 ，ku is cry, 笑 laugh, 不得 ，like 怪不得 cannot. So it cannot cry or laugh. So actually, this means I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Yeah, I think you probably have that kind of situation. Married people do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what he said made me. 哭笑不得。他说的话让我哭笑不得。So, Michael doesn't translate that. Sometimes it's easier just to use the Chinese. 哭笑不得。It's like 热闹 as、yeah. well, or 随便 Sometimes just the Chinese is better. Better, yes, yeah. And、uh, this is my experience. My husband always say something. 让我哭笑不得。Tell me, start. 开始。Ask me, what time does the movie start? 电影几点开始 ？Tell me, eight. 八点哦，八点开始。Okay, more exercise. Tell me, not at all. 一点都不 Tell me, the movie was not good at all. Okay, movie is for watching, so not good would be 不好看 This movie is not good at all. Tell me, the movie wasn't funny at all. 这部电影一点都不好笑 Tell me, when the movie began, it was very funny. 
这部电影开始的时候很好笑。Tell me when it ended. It made me cry loudly. Very embarrassing. Okay, remember ending. 结尾 means ending. 结尾的时候 Okay, could you repeat again, please? When it ended, it made me cry very loudly. Very embarrassing. Okay, let's mash those two together. Tell me, when the movie began, it was very funny. When it ended, it made me cry very loudly. Very embarrassing. Tell me, I dare not go home alone. Not brave at all. Now we have a new phrase. Past eight o'clock. is an over, and is after. So eight o'clock over. After, okay, so after eight o'clock, 八点过后 and before eight o'clock, not even eight will be 八点不到不到 not reach eight o'clock. Tell me, after eight p.m., there isn't anyone in this street. Even one person, okay? Tell me, traveling alone isn't interesting at all. Of course, here you can say 一个人去旅行 or you can say 自己去旅行 or you can have 自己一个人去旅行 Okay, all they all mean alone. Okay, let's go back to the dialogue. Listen, please. 真的不容易，小小留学生。现在回想起来，真的还会难过。真的不容易，小小留学生。现在回想起来，真的还会难过。真的 ，truly， 不容易，容易。Easy. We have learned 简单 ，Yeah, 简单 is simple, and 容易 is easy, but different. Little bit different, as in English as well. Yeah. 小小留学生，学生为牛，学生 ，student， yeah， and 留学生 is overseas student. But this 留 means leave, doesn't it? Yeah, leave. You're left behind. <laughs> <laughs> 留 also means to stay. So you stay abroad. You're not coming back. You stay there. So 留学生 So little, little overseas or foreign students. Okay. 小小留学生，现在 ，now 回想，回 is return and 想 you think， 回想起来 ，is now to think back， 
to think back, 回想起来，真的 truly 还会 still can be still can be what 难过 sad upset. It's still quite upsetting. So even now, when I think back at it, it's quite upsetting. Yeah, because she went abroad by herself when she was ten, that young age. Okay, so thinking back, staying alone in a dormitory still quite upsetting. Okay, listen and repeat, please. 真的不容易，小小留学生。现在回想起来，真的还会难过。真的不容易，小小留学生。现在回想起来，真的还会难过。Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Listen, please. 你比较喜欢住哪儿？中国还是美国？都喜欢，很难说。你比较喜欢住哪儿？中国还是美国？都喜欢，很难说。你比较喜欢住哪 ？OK， 比较喜欢 actually means prefer。比较喜欢 is prefer。住哪 ？Where do you prefer to live? That's right. OK， 中国还是美国 ？China or America？ 嗯，都喜欢。I like them both. 很难说 Difficult to say. Yeah, difficult to say. I think、uh, every everybody has the same feeling. You know, every country has、uh, its um the special things, its advantages and disadvantages. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But talking about living, uh, sending kids abroad or sending kids to boarding school, it's actually a new trend in China now. Sending kids、mm-hmm. in boarding school. Okay. So um, kids don't go to go alone to school when they're young. We know that some cases, even as young as a kindergarten. Okay. Anyway, listen and repeat. You 比较喜欢住哪儿？中国还是美国？都喜欢，很难说。你比较喜欢住哪儿？中国还是美国？都喜欢，很难说。Okay, it's time to do exercise. Tell me, sad or upset? 难过。Tell me, he left the company. I was very upset. 他离开公司。我很难过。Tell me, I'm very sad. He cannot come to see me. 我很难过，他不能来看我。Tell me, he cannot come to visit me. I'm not upset at all. 他不能来看我，我一点都不难过。Tell me, easy. 容易。Tell me, twenty years ago, making a phone call abroad was really not easy. Making a telephone call abroad would be 打一通电话到国外。二十年前打一通电话到国外是很不容易的。Tell me, twenty years ago, going abroad was really not easy. Going abroad is 出国 ，and here I want to emphasize, make a trip abroad would be 出国一趟。
二十年前出国一趟是很不容易的。Tell me, speaking good Chinese is very easy. Tell me, think back or thinking back. 回想 Tell me, thinking back about life before going abroad, very comfortable and easy. Life before going abroad would be 出国前的生活 Okay, could you repeat the question again, please? Thinking about life before going abroad, very comfortable, very easy. Reflecting about life before going abroad, very comfortable, very easy. Every time thinking back about life abroad is very upsetting. So this guy did not have a good life abroad. I guess maybe just needed to work a whole lot and study hard. Yeah. Living abroad can be difficult for some people, I guess. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, time for us to say. 再见，再见。Say goodbye. 很难过。<laughs> Have fun.